So hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. In this video, I would like to show you how to open S3 file, Joe database file in the QGIS. So let's start. As you see, I already opened the arc map and uh, we, we created a map from the Germany. This is the uh, Germany administrative uh, boundaries. And after that, you see the, the cities inside that. And the, you know, we have the different layers like uh, states, the, the boundaries and uh, these uh, four uh, different layers inside the arc map. And if I just go here in the properties, you see the source of the, the data or the uh, Joe database and the, I name it as a test S3 uh, point GDB is a Joe database and you can just easily from the catalog and even you can see we can add this data from here. So data are and according to the S3 Joe database. So the point is that how we can convert, how we can open this data inside the QGIS. So let's continue. So first of all, you must, uh, you know, launch your QGIS, open your QGIS uh, software on your computer. And after that, going to the layer, as you see here, add layer, add vector layer. And you see we have the different source type, file, directory, database, protocol. So instead of the, if you would like to add the, just a normal, uh, for example, the shape file, you can just define the source and it will be finished. But here we will use the directory and after that in the source type, we have the different source type. But this time open file GDB, Joe database. And here we will define where is our this uh, vector data set. This, uh, as you see, I already created here and I will just choose this one and uh, here and we will just keep it this one this this consulting for the detailed explanation on option and here list all tables as a default and if you just add and you see we, we see all uh, in uh, lawyers and you see this is the just uh, uh, multi polygon one feature 16 42 and 435 features inside and you have this option add layer into the group or show system and internal tell table but let's just add layers and if i just uh, close the uh, system and you see uh, we have uh, already uh, the result inside the qjs and just here to make it correct coordinate system here uh, so you see we have the four different layers and if I just check all of them, yes, it seems okay, exactly according to the arc map. And if I just open the attribute table, so you see that this is exactly the same attribute table and the same data uh, what we had already inside the arc map and right now inside the QGIS. So uh, it was all uh, the process to open this uh, S3. Uh, file Joe database inside the QGIS, but we must consider some, some important points in it uh, because of that, for example, the QGIS supports read-only access to the S3 file Joe database. So it means uh, you can open and visualize this uh, database, but, but you cannot edit and uh, save data and uh, changing back to the S3 uh, inside the, the, your arc map. So for example, if I changing something here and saving, but this data won't be uh, uh, written uh, into the original uh, source. And after that, if you open inside the queue, uh, inside the arc map, you won't see any changes. And uh, so it is a read only access. And if you would like to save uh, this data, for example, right now, if I come to the properties and in the information, you see this is the somehow uh, the source. And if you would like to save it as a shape file or post GIS or as a DXF file, you must, as you are, <coughs> sorry, as you are already informed, you know, to export and save feature as, and here you can choose uh, which format that you are interested. So I hope you enjoy from this video and in the uh, future, we will explain to you how to uh, convert the style uh, from the uh, arc map and from the layer or from the file job database and opening inside the QGIS. 
and also the uh, symbology and uh, the labeling from the arc map inside the QGIS with the SLYR uh, uh, plugin inside the QGIS. So uh, please follow us and subscribe our channel for the following video and see you soon.